Well, one and only exclusive tonight, a woman in need of rescue was instead abandoned in a hot medical transport van. And now that driver is facing charges. Local 10 News investigator Jeff Weins here spoke exclusively with the victim. If this had happened during the day, if the sun was out, Carol Roberson feels she would have died. She was trapped in a medical transport van for over six hours in that parking lot. I start screaming, take me home, keep me home. I don't belong here, take me home. Carol Roberson was screaming for hours. She was trapped, strapped to a seat, locked in a hot medical transport van. IDL, IDL. The 57 year old is partially blind. She's confined to a wheelchair. She's had two massive strokes. It is believed she was trapped in the van for over six hours. Carol, how hot, hot was it in that van? It was too hot. I say it's hot. Mr. Dorador uh, is before the court for neglect. Oscar Dorador was the van's driver. He works for Ready to Transport out of Hialeah. Dorador parked the van at his Deerfield Beach apartment, got out, left Carol alone. He's now charged with neglect. Carol realized something was wrong when Dorador wasn't taking the usual route back to her nursing home from her dialysis appointment. I say, hey, you going the wrong way. Does he say anything when he gets out? No. Nope. Just gets out. Get, get out. And he locked it, turned it off. Minutes turned to hours. Carol says kids were knocking on the window of the van, making fun of her, but didn't help. I was sweating. Eventually, Carol's daughter got a call from the nursing home saying her mother never returned from dialysis. Shakira Breedlove had no idea her mother was trapped and left alone. It makes me feel as if, like, he wanted her to die in there or something. Carol's daughter called Logisticare in Miami Lakes. They're a transportation broker for Medicare, and they contracted ready to transport for Carol's medical van services. They had no idea who had her. None whatsoever. A security guard at the apartment complex finally hears Carol's cries for help, but it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm safe. I'm safe. Thank God. This could easily be any of our parents or grandparents. The family has hired an attorney. They should know at all times where that vehicle is, where it's heading, what its speed is, and also how many occupants are in the vehicle. The incident has changed Carol's life. She refuses to be alone, refuses to get in a van again. If this was during the day and the sun was shining, she wouldn't have made it. Roberson was taken to the hospital. She was treated for severe dehydration. No one from Ready to Transport would talk to us on camera about their driver, who they have since fired. And right now he's being held on $15,000 bond. In Deerfield Beach, Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News.